Welcome guys, George again with Virtual Staging. In this video, I'm answering how we can find assets of the selected object in 3ds Max and basically in general how we can divide an asset and create a really nice organized library. So um, this is an answer to the question which Ishrak posted on our Facebook group and here is what I think. I've opened already here a connector and then this is one of the sets I created recently. So I'm going to merge this asset into my scene. This is empty scene. It just uh, I just freshly uh, started this. And as you can see, you have to wait a little bit because it depends how large the object is. But after some point, the object will come. So I've already created this asset uh, as um, a group of multiple objects, which I've picked and selected let's say i want to separate the plant from the armchair and from that table with uh, these glasses here so i'm going to create a group of of the of the table and the glasses table and i'm going to rename the chair to chair or armchair here it is and the plant should be not grouped in but just plant so I will select all three objects and I'll press right click and add selected, basically add assets to the connector. It will prompt me that uh, my scene is not saved, that's fine. And then what I can do is I have following options to split the name, basically assets name plus file name plus object name. It will create a lot of stuff, which I don't, I don't want to create that. I'll create just armchair set for example and i'll put that armchair inside this group so i'm going to copy this path here and for example i'll create armchair set one or maybe armchair slash bedroom set one something like this and i'm going to save this into that folder basically i'll select this i'll select the folder and here it is saved so this will go inside that folder here. Then I'm going to go and create a, basically a screenshot, something like a small thumbnail, which will visualize what I have here. You have multiple options here. You, get, you can render them or you can just grab something from the viewport. In this case, uh, first I have to convert this uh, to the Corona rendering. Otherwise uh, all the materials will be black and not uh, visible so i'm going to create a preview and the preview is already done as you can see it is not a massive preview it's just a tiny thing which helps you to to, to see what is there but what i can also do is instead of grabbing the, the this image from the viewport i can select for, for example to pick a render preset in this case i don't have a render preset but i have a render studio which is the setup here and I can select the oh, why it's not here. Oh my gosh. So I can create the render studio. Go on the connectors website. They have a YouTube page. You can you can see how you can create the render uh, render studio and organize all of your files. But in general, uh, this is my preview. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I want this to the connectors database because I already have that. And then I can select to create a subfolder with all the maps in, and it will be a new path basically this this object will be on its own and then we have our asset options you have to uh, for example move the pivot to the bottom of the center of the asset which will be here and um, we, i don't want to apply um, x form uh, or anything like this and i i but i want to add the asset to the layer zero which is the default and I want to delete the empty layers as well. And I want to ignore the hidden objects as well because I don't want any of that stuff which was has been in my scene to be dragged and uh, into the new newly created asset. And finally, I have the option to put tags. Basically, I can insert this armchair into any of the tags I have already and I'll pick, for example, armchairs and that will be fine. So. The tag is selected. I have a description. The description is um, chair set for bedrooms, for example, because you can search uh, based on your description inside connector, and this is how you can find 
um, your models for example if you have set up all descriptions or tags for example and finally let's check okay everything is okay here i don't want to reset the position rotation on the, or the scale but everything else is fine here and i want to be assigned to that render which is currently the corona so I, i'm going to press add and character uh, connector will prompt this because um, there might be some of the names external files uh, like i have tons of um, uh, files which they use the same um, material and uh, textures this is why it says that so i'm fine and okay existing studio i don't want to set up an existing studio and then it's a safe uh, say yes and we have to wait after a while as you can see the connector is working is doing something in the behind uh, behind the process and let's go in the folder and wait and instantly as you can see my object reappeared in this folder uh, with the, the the second bedroom but let's say what if you want to split up all those objects like single objects and without doing like all the times uh, manually so what you can do is you can select this and but press right click and then this time instead of add uh, the asset to from selection to connector you have other options you can update or you can do anything else apologies guys my phone is uh, beeping and you can add this uh, basically it gives you a few more options here which are based on um, you can pick for example the materials uh, you can select only the selection entire scene and you can update any of the assets you have already so you can merge objects or for example you can as I, as I said you can divide all of those objects just by making what I'm going to show you right now the first thing you have to do is select all of your objects you want to split and but first uh, before that actually you have to check if they are in a groups and my are on in a groups like that so you just select this add and then add new 3d assets from the selections and this will prompt this new bar which you already you've already seen then you can uh, press split and this is where you have uh, those options basically it's going to be armchair plus file name plus object name and they will be separated i don't want to include those in any tags so i don't need the tags here but i want to include this so i'm going to just copy this path again and i will open this and i'll check if it's yeah actually selected and i'll press add simple as that and automatically connector will catch basically will generate preview based on these things so i'm going to select this and i'll add this and i'll watch the folder as you can see it takes some time to load uh, but it started loading all the separate files for the armchair the table and now we'll see the plant in this folder as well that's it guys i hope it was uh, useful let me know um, in the comments if you have any other questions and i'll be happy to answer them happy staging guys bye bye